Welcome to Saline Magic Carpet. In this episode, we have a sleepless night at anchor. We show you a little bit about raising a mainsail with a reef in it. We med tie in a beautiful bay, and we go on an epic dinghy ride to explore Citadella. Last night the wind switched and now it is blowing from the south and we are on the southern side of Menorca right now. So we're pretty much completely unprotected. The wind just comes straight into the bay and with it came a whole bunch of waves. And the boat was just shaking last night. I did not sleep at all. For one thing, it was like trying to sleep in a washing machine. It was so turbulent. And the second thing is that because it's our boat, you know, like I'm always worried about the anchor dragging or something when it's that rough. So I was always getting up like every 20 minutes almost to poke my head out and then you can't sleep at all really. So I'm exhausted. So this is where we were anchored when the south winds came, Cala Trebalugar. The next morning we headed over to this one, Cala Galdana. You can see that there's this little bit of a point right here. And if you sneak in behind there, then you're sheltered from some of the south winds, so that was really nice. When we arrived to Cala Galdana, we were both so tired that we didn't film anything. We just had a long nap and a lazy day on the boat. The next morning, we left Cala Galdana to go explore the west side of Menorca. The west side was more sheltered from the winds, and it features a really lovely city named Citadella, which we wanted to check out. At first, we thought we'd just motor there, since the batteries really needed a bit of a charge. However, the waves kept tossing the boat around, so we decided to raise the mainsail. When you raise the sails on a sailboat, it actually becomes more stable, and the waves don't roll you quite as much. There was a bit of wind, and we both felt a bit too tired and drained to do any real sailing, so we just put a reef in the main. In case you don't know, putting a reef in the mainsail basically means reducing the sail area. When the wind is strong, you want to make your sails smaller so the boat doesn't get overpowered. You can do this with a reef. to become that which will become we'll travel down these rays we'll come in every way this is a dream within a dream Comes out of the void. 
to become that which will become. We'll travel down these rays. We'll come in every way. And this is a dream inside a dream. We arrived in a little bay just south of the city of Citadella. We came out from Cala Galdana, around here. It was quite wavy here. And then we headed all the way up. This is um, Citadella, which is a city. It's really, really nice. But you can see we're there right now. We decided to anchor in this little bay. There, we med-tied the boat to some rocks. I'm not actually sure if med-tie is the correct term, but it's what I've always called it. Basically, it's when you drop the anchor and then tie your stern to the land. It's useful in tight anchorages so your boat doesn't swing. However, it only works in the Mediterranean or other places with no tide, since the rope you use to tie your stern is tied to one fixed point on land. Once the boat was safely anchored, I made some lunch, and then we went on an epic dinghy ride to see Citadella. We took the dinghy all the way around here, through this kind of weird channel, which I don't know if we were supposed to go through, and then up and into the port of Citadella. Aladino and I sometimes have fun trying to steer the dinghy simply by leaning to the side rather than steering with the outboard. We also saw this huge ferry coming into the port. It looked quite ominous with its sharp edges, but I'm sure it's very fast. Citadella is a beautiful place. We got some gelato, meandered around the streets, and I even got some new shoes which I really love.
really like this place. This is such a charming find. I had never really heard of Citadella before, but here we are. And I'm really stoked with my new shoes. I really like them. Apparently that's like a Menorcan thing. They were Menorcan peasant shoes, but then they caught, caught on and now they're like sold everywhere here. It's like a symbol of Menorca. I like them. They're really sweet. And I think they're handmade and pretty dear and cheap. back to Magic Carpet, make some dinner, maybe drink a little bit of cold white wine, and go to bed. Not a bad day today. I always look forward to evenings on Magic Carpet. If we're in a calm anchorage, we can light some candles, we can put on some good music, maybe drink some wine and make dinner. These moments are so cozy, so perfect. This is part of what draws me to sailing. The ability to travel, to have great adventures, to constantly change your horizon, while all at the same time having a home which is yours and which you can make beautiful. I don't know of any other mode of travel which is like that, other than perhaps RVs. But sailboats, well, sailboats have a touch of magic to them too. As soon as I step on board, I can feel myself relax. Thank you. 